Welcome, avid learner of linguistics. In this video, I'd like to explain to you the concept of ambiguity. So let's ask ourselves, what is ambiguity? Here you can see it in bold letters. Ambiguity comes from the Latin word ambigere, which we can split into ambi and agere. You might know ambi from other words like ambidextrous, or ambivalent, or ambipom, if you're a Pokemon fan. And ambi basically means something like on both sides, or both, or two. As you know, ambidextrous, using both hands, ambivalent, having two different sides, and ambipom, having two tails with hands on it. Okay, and agere means something like to drive or move, and that basically explains the entire word already. We can say that ambigere means something like moving into two directions, or being able to move into two directions. And indeed, the Oxford English Dictionary denotes ambiguity as the quality of being open to more than one interpretation. Okay, I think I should illustrate this concept of ambiguity by an example, which is from BBC Radio 1's Innuendo Bingo. And this is a little game where the participants, with a mouthful of water, sit in opposite to each other and listen to audio clips that contain some uh, rather ambiguous phrases or words. And the overall goal is to, well, make one of them, at least one of them, laugh and spit all of the water on the other person. So just have a look for yourself. Over to a recent favourite now from our friends at Bargain Hunt. Oh, I, like I like the way the light catches the eye. girls. Knobs. 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 Lovely knobs, girls. Yeah. yeah, British people are special. You might have noticed that the word that triggered the laughter of the participants was knobs. And that has something to do with ambiguity, because the word knob itself is ambiguous. On the one hand, it means something like door handle. On the other hand, it means male genitalia. And now you have to imagine the participants. They only hear what the man is saying. They can't see him. And this is exactly why they have to make up their own image in their heads. And then they come to this word knobs, where they know there are two ways of interpreting it. And, well, going for the second one would make it a really awkward situation, which is why both participants laugh. To be a little more precise, we should say that knob is polysemous. Now, what on earth is polysemy? Polysemy is defined as one word having more than one meaning, or if you want to follow the Caesarean model, it would be that one signified has more than one signifier. So here you can see a model of that, one signified having a signifier one and a signifier two. And if we apply that to this case, it would be knob having the signifier door handle and the signifier penis. And innuendo bingo also features other words that follow the exact same pattern, which would be beaver, slot, puppies or helmet. If you know these words, well, good for you. If you don't know, well, good for you. A word that is polysemous can also be called a polyseme. But you should bear in mind that polysemes are not the same as homonyms. Homonyms are two words which have become much alike in spelling and pronunciation, but denote two different things. So these are two words with two different etymologies and language backgrounds, which denote two different things. For instance, the word bat. One word comes from the old English word bat, and means something like a club or something that you can beat someone up with. And the other word, bat, comes from the Middle English word buck and means something like a mammal that is active at night time and then flies around and sucks blood and whatever. So these are homonyms. They look alike, you spell them the same way and you pronounce them the same way, but they come from different origins and denote different things. All right, that was it. If you liked the video, please Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have annotations or requests, feel free to post them in the comment section.